Yeah, all right, Shalom. I'm going to start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basha, Yahweh Shah, Basha, Makat Kadash. Take double honor to the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and teaching sincerity and for ruling well. Salutations to our fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shah. And we are here another week to do what? To prophesy the truth of the Bible to our people according to the words of the Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shah. Okay, we're here to wake up the elect or to uh, uh, speak the words of the Heavenly Father that will, work, will wake up the elect because this word is only for the elect of our nation. So you have to be an Israelite, which is a chosen nation, but you also have to be the elect or the chosen within our, within our, uh, our, our nation, okay? That's why you don't see swarms of our people Standing around trying to hear this word, man. The vast majority of our people, the vast majority of the people, particularly here in America, that the vast majority of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans here in America, you're gonna perish, okay, for your unbelief. Okay? And, and so the Lord said, What? If he had not come, you would have had a cloak for your sins, but he have come. And if you don't believe your Hawashai is the Messiah that is written about in the scriptures you want to die in your sins if you're not you don't believe that Yahweh sent his only begotten son Yahweh Shai you want to die in your sins man all right and we as the prophets hope will hope will elect Lord willing we do it to the end then we're going to know for a fact right we're here to speak the Lord the Lord's words not our words real quick I'll open it up with uh, um this is the book of Hosea I didn't, I didn't have a particular point to start off with, but we'll just go with this flow from the Spirit. This is Hosea chapter 12, verse uh, 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, I, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets, man. So, this is how the Lord speaks to his people, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is not going to come off the throne and, and, and come down here and talk to you personally, man. You know, we, a lot of these people, they assume that they got a relationship with the one they can be called God and Jesus. But you don't have a relationship with Yahweh Bashan and Shah. You think it's got a relationship with Satan, man. Because the Heavenly Father's name is not God. His son's name is not Jesus. No one ever called Yahweh Shah Jesus when he walked this earth or in the, time, in the time of his life, man. In fact, that term Jesus didn't even exist. When you look up the term Jesus in the Bible, it goes back to the Greek which is E.A. Seuss. And the reason why it goes back to the Greek, because many of our people that are on this sign here, particularly of the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, I mean, particularly the so-called Negroes, West Indians and Haitians, you were Hellenized, man, okay? Our people were extremely Hellenized, all right? Which basically they were forced to be Hellenized before it was uh, uh, something that they chose. Well, it, it was, they, some of our people chose it, Willingly, some of our people were forced to do it via by the threat of death. You know, this is the book of Jeremiah. I mean, First Maccabees. Book of First Maccabees, chapter one. Yep. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter one, verse forty-one. Moreover, the king, moreover, King Antiochus or Antiochus, wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And, and Antiochus was the son of Seleucus, who Seleucus was one of the generals of Alexander the Great. Okay, so when Antiochus came into power, Alexander didn't do this. He's still an Edomite, but he didn't force our people to follow his ways and customs. Albeit, I'm sure you had Israelites in his army at the time, you know, because our people were scattered amongst the world, the known world at that time too. But there was a large concentration of our people in Israel, okay, the southern kingdom. Let's keep on reading. It says, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to be to, um, consented to his religion and sacrifice unto idols and profane the Sabbath, right? Because 
that started with some of the uh, a lot of the, uh, the, the uh, higher ups of rock very much like today you got a lot of wealthy Israelites so-called Negroes in America so-called Latinos and Native Americans in America that wholly consent to the way Esau does things man they consent to his uh, his way of life those different philosophies and in the ancient world they actually sacrificed to these idols because what you see today is the same idol worship but the vast majority of people don't understand what they're doing back then Jake knew what they were doing okay they did the sacrifice of the unclean uh, abominable new foods they did the sacrifice the sexual rituals prostitution the killing of their children that was openly done you can't do that shit today people look at you like you're wild so they have Jake doing it in other ways man when you go to those abortion clinics when you go when you eat certain foods when you go to these temples these harlot temples called Christian churches the cathedrals the mosques all of that you're still doing the same thing but back then we had some type of na 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 national integrity man we had our God that we worship, which is Yahweh Bashi Shai. Okay, while these other nations, they had their idols that they worship, and that's something that they did, and their customs and their rites that they did. Well, when Anti Anto Anti Antiochus wanted to make the whole world just like the, the, the super elite today, want to have the whole world under a new world order, a one world order, meaning you worship a God that they prescribe, and this is the commandments that they prescribe. This is the way a life that they prescribe and many people they agree with it man so it says for the king has sent letters by messengers unto jerusalem and the cities of judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the sabbath and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profane or profanation right because why do they want the children uncircumcised so the children can grow up in that hellenistic mindset in which they did hey even timothy at, at a point grew up like that he knew he was an Israelite, he had his mom and his grandmother, but his father was totally taken off into, into the Hellenistic mindset. That's why they said Timothy's father was a, a, a Greek. He wasn't an Edomite. He was an Israelite who followed the customs of, of being a Greek. He preferred those customs over the custom of his forefather. But his mother preferred her customs of her forefather. But she, it wasn't enough for her to say, I'm a divorce you, man. And you get that today. You got women that are Israelites, that know that they're Israelites, believing that they're Israelites, but, they, but their husband may not believe them. And that's why Paul said um, um, that if a, you know, if a husband or a wife be uh, pleasing as well, you're not supposed to leave them. That the husband can be won over by the chaste conversation of the woman. And likewise, the woman can be won over by the, the, the uh, chaste conversation of the man. She see the spirit of this man like, oh, he follows the Lord this way. This is why, this way he... He does it, and, he, he, and he's upright. You know, he's pleasing to dwell with. Well, let me let me look into that. And, he, and she may be converted, but the unbelieving wife can be uh, uh, sanctified through the through the believing husband, and vice versa. It says, um, it says, to the end that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said, should die. So it says, um, in the in the self same manner, wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all people, commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. So he was forcing it, and so it became a, it be, just like it's going to come a point in this in this time that we're living in. It's going to come a point where Esau is going to try to outlaw us from being an Israelites, man. That's right. That's this that's the big that's the big thing right now. Us, the Israelites are waking up, particularly the southern kingdom. A lot of Israelites are waking up or being jarred awake through these so-called celebrities who claim that they're woke, right? And so Jake is actually looking into the fact of being an Israelite because there was no problem with our people being something else other than Israelites. Now the so-called Jew, he got an issue. He got a, he, he's, he's angry. 
but wait a minute, why are you the only one on the planet Earth that's allowed to have a biblical nationality and identity and everybody else is not? That, see, that whole bullshit story about us being Africans, the, 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 the Northern Kingdom being uh, uh, Indians, that shit is all false, man. And it's empirical evidence, meaning there's real mountain evidence to show that the, the, the tribes that we're talking, the people that we're talking about, the so-called, from the so-called African-American to the so-called Latino, hey, you had you have Hebrew Israelite heritage, man. And you followed those customs even when you were on this side of the earth. And our people followed those customs even when we were living in Africa, man. And Jake didn't just come from Africa, man. See, that's a part of history that they like to blind you to, too. That, that whole African vibration is a blinding in itself, man. You had Israelites all up and down um, Europe, all in and out of Europe, man. From noble houses to kings to queens to princes and princesses, man. Okay? And that they knew that they were Israelites to a point. Even back then, in the Middle Ages, it was common knowledge that the Jew was a so-called black man. That's right. It was common knowledge, man. But see, like today, you don't see that. What they tell you, you African or you're an Indian. And what are those, what being called those people, that's not even called a nation, but just being called those people, what does that bring up? It's just a, a people that were overrun by another people, primarily the Edomites, who spoke Spanish, who spoke English, who spoke Dutch, you know what I'm saying? That's what you were taking over, man. And that's what you, that's what, the, that's what that shit, is basically those are nationalities of oppression, man. Not even nationalities, ethnicities of oppression, man. You know, so it was outlawed to be a Jew. Okay? And all throughout Maccabees, you hear of, of see, like, people, right, today, there's a, there's a chapter, and it might be first Maccabees or second Maccabees, seven, where a woman and her seven sons were put to death all because they didn't want to eat pork. And you know, people today couldn't bear the neck. Nigga, like, you grew up on chorizo. <laughs> you grew up on pork chops, you know, chitterlings. You know what I'm saying? I saw a video recently uh, online, fucking Jake. They ain't even put the chitterlings out the box, man. They just put the crate in the middle of the store. Jake popped the tag and just start taking buckets of chitterlings, man, for their holiday that's coming up, man. Putting it in the freezer, getting ready to clean that filthy pig intestines and eat eat on that shit, month, yam on that shit on on, the, on 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 Thanksgiving, which is in a couple of weeks. You got our people celebrating this shit. You know what I'm saying? Not realizing that you're celebrating the death and the genocide of your own people, man. Whether you're a so-called Negro or whether you're a so-called Native American or whether you're a so-called Latino, man. Because when when things when the original Thanksgiving was happening, we was being overrun and killed. And even on that particular day, them, I think the Algonquins, Algonquins, which were Gadites, they were killed that day, man, by them fucking Edomites, man. And they weren't eating no goddamn turkey, man. They were eating eel, man. You okay? And what, would, what the fuck was it to be thankful for? This man was spreading like a plague on our people, man. You got something right, right? No, and a lot of a lot of a lot of our people, man, now know the history behind that, and they still refuse to, to give up the fucking holiday, man, just to fit in. You know, a lot a, a lot of uh, you know Gadites, a lot of. Uh, well, all the tribes, man, they know the history behind Thanksgiving because now it's it, it, it's been known, you know, what truly happened. But then they refuse to give it up. Why? Because they love this world, man. You know, you Israelites, man, you you love the world so much that you rather be a, a, a servant, you rather stay in that mindset of oppression than to come to, to the true knowledge of Yahweh Hashem and be free, man, and and start being righteous and and. and in order to, to receive a chance of salvation, man, you know, and that's why we always say, and ultimately the scriptures say, man, a lot of our people need death, man, because they're not going to be fixed through through dialogue, man, and, and, and trying to, you know, break it down to them, because ultimately they were allotted for, for destruction. I have a, a quick one. This is uh, Jeremiah 2 and verse 11. It says, have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory with that which does not profit yeah and like you know the elder was going into what what has been a, a, a so-called african america a latino a native american got you nothing man just being in a in a, in a state of, of, of servitude that's right because that's all it is man every time you think of a or, or, or 
anybody thinks of a, a, a so-called Latino, uh, a Native American, uh, so-called Negro, is what it's all. Those are our servants, you know. But now they have a problem because our people are waking up and, and telling the world who we really are, which are, are the Israelites, man. Yeah, we're telling them you're the Israelites, and that that's that's fucking up the Amalekites' money. That's right. Because these people are actually in a land. They're running around with their Orthodox Judaism, acting like, they're not even, I can't even say they're acting like the Lord's people. Claiming and purporting to be the Lord's people. Whether they be Orthodox, whether they be secular, because a lot of these Jews are actually secular Jews, man. That whole Hasidic community is really a small community when you look at the great scale, great scale of the so-called Jews, man. Okay? But the point of the matter is these people have been running around uh, 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 off of fucking sympathy from what something that happened in World War II. But then when we bring up what happens to us coming over here, this world, this country being established, and as it stands to the day, they tell us to get over that shit, man. Right. Because they're, according to them, what happened to the J-Rules is so new. Well, wait a minute, that was Edomite on Edomite fucking uh, destruction, man. That wasn't, that had nothing to do with the people on this side here, man. But when you bring up truth and speak against these people, they call you an anti-Semite, man which I, you need to get an under, understanding. To be an anti-Semite does not have nothing to do with being a Shemite. Anti-Semite is just a uh, a scientific sounding word. This is from them, we ain't making this up. A scientific sounding word that uh, pushes a Jew, uh, a Jew hatred, man. Instead of saying Jew hatred or Judenhaus in a, in a, in a um, Judenhaus in fucking uh, in, in German, they, they call it anti, anti-Semitic, man. When you bring it up, when you refuting who they are, see they see they can refute who we are, but we can't refute who they are. We're not allowed to go into their history. We're not allowed to look into their literature. And that's how they want to keep it, because they want to keep you deceived. Just because you in somebody land, you wearing their clothes, or you wearing some clothes, and you, you claiming that you worship a God. Listen, all throughout the Bible, the Israelites called on the name of their God, which is Yahweh. Not no goddamn Yahweh, not God, not Allah. His name was Yah is, was, and always will be, was, is, and always will be Yahweh. Okay? And they openly called the Lord's name. It wasn't forbidden to call the Lord's name. It was forbidden to speak the name of the Lord in vain. But it's never been forbidden to call on his name. But yet these people that claim to be to his people, why don't they call on his name? Oh, my rabbi said that. We can't talk about, we can't say his name. So what you say, Hashem, which is nothing more than the name. Just like the name Shem means the name. And it was called, his name was called that because the name of the Lord will be found in him, in his people, man. A seed of, that came up of him. The Lord kept that name pure. No, no, I, I was looking into the definition of anti-Semitism. Yeah, it's right in Wikipedia. You should yeah. say it. You see it? Yeah, it says, uh, well, anti anti sim it says is um uh, hostility or pre, pre prejudice prejudice to water or uh, prejudice towards or discrimination against small hatters a person who holds such position is called anti sim medic anti semitism is considered to be a form of racism yeah, yeah how which, i'm sorry so yeah. I get which you know ESO commits all sorts of uh, hate crimes and, and racist crimes and racist crimes and nobody says nothing to this devil but you know when jake speaks the truth and 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 really brings out who the the true jews are uh, then there's a problem with it man yeah because he's the man of lies That's right you edomites are the you edomites are the father of lies Amalek, you're the top tribe of the edomites man just right. like the the judites yahweh is the top tribe of the israelites man and you're against you're against the truth even your own people have come out and spoken against you and you just write them off as being anti-semitic hey just if any time they bring up the truth just say it let's call them anti-semitic yeah. keep reading uh on the definition yeah does it say uh it's, it's, it has nothing to do with the shema the arabians yeah and the thing is that yeah. Even, even, um, the last, the last, the last right. paragraph. yeah, the, the thing is that, you know, if, if they're calling themselves the sons of God, you know, 
All right, let's see their actions. Yeah. It has nothing to do with what's written in the scriptures, man. They yeah. say they believe in the Torah and that, you know, that that's their God and their customs. But everything they do is contrary to the Most High, man. Yeah. You know, and now that you have the true Jews waking up, you know, starting up with, with well, the true Israelites. Israelites, starting up with the tribe of Judah, man, and actually, you know, uh, doing the works, you know, starting up with, with the apostles, the elders at Great Motion, and even all the other camps, man. At least they're showing our people who they are and trying to keep the customs, man. You know, now there's a big problem. We are a hate group. Yeah. We are, uh, uh, how do you call it, a radical? Yeah, a radical group. Right. That's right, man. A you radical see? hate group. Uh, according to the poverty, uh, the Southern the uh, SPLC, the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is about them Amorites, um, um, they call us a hate group, man. Right. But why aren't y'all considered a hate group? Going to, going, I've been to East New York, man. Okay? My woman's from East New York. I, I ride through, I rode through East New York to go to her part. It's starkly different from the Amalekites part, man. And them Amalekites don't deal with the Israelites, the real Israelites, the so-called Negroes and Latinos that live in Brooklyn, East Brooklyn or whatever. They don't deal with them people at all. Right. Matter of fact, them Amalekites got their own police force, man. And it, it was a big issue back in, in, the, in the early 90s. I think it was like the early 90s. You had a, a fucking damn near war going on between the real Israelites and and and, um, and, and Amalek, man, because Amalek killed two of our kids, and, and ain't nothing happened. Motherfuckers ran them straight over, put them to death, right? And then and and it was a big cry for the so-called Jew, but there was no cry for the so-called Negro. And they got mad, cause you know, and when them Amalekites do business with our people, man. Mm -mm. Most of the time, them Amalekites in Brooklyn are, are fucking landlords, man. Yeah. Slum lords, man. They don't improve the housing. They, they 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 raise the rent astronomically. You know, they don't have any mercy on our people. Right? So there's always an enmity and conflict between us and them. Some people don't want to be around us. We don't want to be around them. That's right. Okay? So now that we holding fast to the biblical nationality which we were given, these people get upset and angry. And they get mad because the truth's starting to come out. Because for a long time, wasn't nobody uh, disproving or challenging them. And look, I had did a video, um, well, I'm gonna do a part two, uh, of the truth about the Talmud, man. When it's, it speaks certain things, a lot of that filthy stuff that come out of that book, that book is filthy. And that's another thing. If some people are the, the Lord's people, they claim to be the Israelites of the ancient past, and related to the Israelites, which a lot of the people that live in the state of Israel would tell you that they don't go back to the people of the ancient Israelites. They have nothing to do with them. But these, since you people want to hold on to that, um, why don't y'all, why don't you hold the Bible in great high esteem? You don't. You say the Torah this and it's a not this, but you always reference in the Talmud or the book of the Zohar. The ancient Israelites didn't use that shit. Right. And when you go, when you go into it, it's just. According to according to their knowledge, or according to their definition of all those books, they're supposed to be uh, rabbis that go into the law of the Bible and break it down so that I guess people can understand it. That they, they they basically dissect the law of the Bible. But wait a minute, some of the stuff that you believe in the Talmud that it's okay to commit crimes against Gentiles, nigga, that's 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 off. You can steal from a Gentile if you want. If a Jew wants to, a so-called Jew wants to commit a crime. He got to go to a city where there is no Jews or he is not known. And he can commit a crime there. You could take a Gentile's life just because you can't eat with a Gentile because it's like eating with a, a a dog. And don't get me started on what you believe about Yahweh Shah, who you call Jesus in that filthy ass book. Okay? The scripture says that the book of the law is the, is the word of the Heavenly Father. The scripture says that... Uh, um, you shall not want her the, the, read out of the book of the law of the Lord you sh shall not want her mate this Bible is set up to be uh, instructions in righteousness reproof and doctrine in righteousness man you don't need no other book you don't need another book to supplement this book you don't need another book to understand the law of the Lord man it's simple That's right. it's straight up when you read it it's simple and we're, we're, we're so hard about it don't sleep with another man's wife don't covet after another man's uh, goods or his house. 
Don't worship another god outside of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Don't eat pork. But when you go to the state of Israel, you got something called kosher pig, kosher pork. And y'all, and that it was a picture of a high level uh, J-Brew who was like a, I think he was like a, either a, some type of politician or some shit like that. This nigga going on vacation. They took a picture of this dude and he's eating fucking lobster and crab. And so it got back to the state of Israel and you know, he had to apologize for it. He said that a rabbi blessed the food so he could eat it. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a whole bunch of bullshit. But see, nobody questions this stuff because you think in, this, in the time that we live in, people think that because of certain people is a, in a certain geographic location that they've always been there. And that's totally not the case. Just like the so-called uh, uh, native of Ameri of the Americas from North, Central, and South America, they weren't always here in America, man. They used to be in the middle, the, what you call the Middle East today, or the East, at a particular time. Just like the so-called Negroes that come from West, Central, and South Africa, and even Israelites that's on East Africa, that's in East Africa and North Africa, they weren't always dwelling there. They used to dwell in Israel, okay? But then you had you still you had a lot of Jakes dwelling across the world. Give me Ezekiel chapter 36. Um, Ezekiel chapter 36, and it might be verse 12. No, 37. It's the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Chapter Ezekiel 37 and 21. 37 and 21. Ezekiel 37 and verse uh, 21. It says, And say unto them, 37 and 21? Uh, 37. Yep. Start at uh, 19. Ezekiel 37 and verse 19. It says, Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and 18, it says, And when the children of thy people shall ask unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? And what is he talking about? This right here, this stick that's joining the 12 tribes of Israel together. Because we were split for a very long time. And Ezekiel didn't have a sign. He didn't have a stick with, you know, little writings of the 12 tribes on it. And walking around and people asking what it is. No, this is for the future. Okay? This Ezekiel 37 goes in about the dry bones. Like that dude, Ronald, whatever his name is, that, that wrote that movie and book called uh, Hebrews and Negroes. He claims that the dry bones is when people, uh, their exoskeletons don't get up with swords and shit as an army. No, nigga. That was an analogy, a metaphor for the, the, the Israelites that were sleep in just darkness of this world. Which we were some of them that state yeah. in a dead state because we wandered out of the way of righteousness so we were in the congregation of the dead and that valley represents america this is the valley of the dry bones from the from the so-called negro all the way to the so-called mexican from judah all the way to Issachar, we didn't know who we were and even if we did in the ancient world you had a few people that may have known it wasn't taught to us man what we, what we brought up as africans uh, um, um, uh, Afro-Americans, Blacks, Coloreds, Hispanics, Latinos, Dominicans, Cubans, uh, Colombians. That's what we were brought up and we were brought up and told is, oh, these, this is your nationality. And that was a dry state. So having this sign right here, normally, if one of our people would walk by and we 
we've seen this happen many a times. They'll see the sign and say, hey, what's this sign? What you mean by this sign right here? Well, wait a minute, I see myself on here. I'm a Puerto Rican, I'm a Colombian, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, Panamanian, I'm a Dominican, I'm a, I'm a so-called Negro, I'm an Afro-American, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Seminole Indian. So they'll point to it and ask us, well, what this means? So this is a breakdown for that. When they see this sign and ask, what does this mean? Go ahead. Say unto them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim. Yeah, because Ephraim was the top tribe of the northern kingdom, which was called Israel. Yasha Allah. They kept the, na the, 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 the name of our nation. Go ahead. And the tribes of Israel, his fellows, mm -hmm. and put them with him, even with the stick of Judah. And Judah was called Judah after the top, after the, the uh, fourth son of, of Jacob, which his name is Judah. And he's the head tribe of the nation but at that time he was the head tribe of the southern kingdom we, we split into the northern and to the southern kingdom the northern kingdom took the name israel the southern kingdom took the name judah the southern kingdom consisted of judah benjamin and levi after um, the king of israel kicked out all the levites as priests because at one point the levi is a tribe but they were known as the priest of our nation Okay, so when any of you brothers or you sisters see this sign here, and this is the importance of having this sign out here, and having it in the correct way. Because you don't see the J-Bruce having the sign. Okay, the so-called Jews don't have a, a sign. Um, and the dog see the spirit on it. The so-called, look, she's going to sit down. Hey, there's the spirit. Call along, you how about you outside? Rugged call you how about you outside? Yep. 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 That's the spirit, man. I'm animal yeah, to see the spirit yeah. on this, man. That's the spirit. She sat down and bowed down, man. That's the spirit, man. Didn't she? Uh, yeah, hey, yeah. brother, I ain't making this up, brother. Y'all ain't see it, man. But yeah, the woman had a, her, her dog, man. And the she dog bowed. She's going the other way. She's going the other way. But then she stopped. The dog came over here, bowed down, and got back up and, and walked oh, off, God. man. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen in the kingdom, man. You, the, the heathen, they're going to do the same thing, man. Because the presence of the Lord is right here, man. Yeah, everybody's gonna know the, the the sons and the daughters of Israel, man. They're gonna, you know, pay reverence. Hey, we standing underneath a rainbow right now, man. Most people see this rainbow. Y'all can't see it. I mean, you can pan it around, maybe I see it. But uh, most people, they don't even know why we have a rainbow in the sky, man. You talk to Esau, Esau will tell you that it's a uh, it's a it's refractory lights and shit, light refracting off of the, the sky, and and. That's a that's a covenant that the Heavenly Father, our God, Yahweh, made uh, uh, um, made with a, a covenant with the earth that He wouldn't flood it again, man. That's right. Can you other can you idols these so-called gods of the other nations? Can they explain that, man? A sign of, uh, of mercy, man. Yeah, it's a sign of mercy. And and Esau took it and and made it into a a, a sign of rebellion, you yeah, know, so. making it the so-called fucking gay pride. Yeah, so now you can't even, bullshit, you can't even see you can't even wear them colors because they're gonna associate you with somebody that's homo homosexual, man. Yeah. yeah, even yeah, that's true, man. Even when you see it, like like the other day, my daughter was wearing uh, mm -hmm. a shirt that had a rainbow. Yeah, and like at first I was just like, oh, that they're pushing that homo shit, and I yeah. was just like, not everything is like you yeah, know. Yeah, but yeah, 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 I feel you because it's already in your mind that. Yeah. It's, Instead of associating right away with the sign of mercy, sometimes you're like, oh, they're pushing that that homo shit. And, and you know oh, what yeah. else? You know what else? You know where that was started at? The state of Israel. That's right. It was a it was a so-called Jew, an Amalekite, that came up with the great idea to take the rainbow in its colors and associate it with homosexuality and lesbianism, man. With an with an abomination, man. With an Showing abomination. You. This man is the that man of sin. That's right. This man is the man of sin. Only the devil would do some shit like that. And it's beautiful. Ain't it beautiful, brother? Yeah, bro. I can see the colors, man. And it ain't because my eyes is weird. No, man. You see the yellow. You see the purple. You can't even duplicate them colors in the earth, man. Yeah. You see the red, orange. It look like a, it's, it look like it's emanating. Like it's yeah. emanating off the boat, man. And then it's purple. And then you got the green and the blue in the middle. And the yellow. Come on, man. Call the Lord Yahweh man. Yahweh and he's Yahweh just Yahweh but a small work of the Heavenly Father, man. And it got brighter too. You see, yeah, the, yeah, you see the bow got brighter, man. Yeah. Ain't that beautiful, man? Only the Lord could do something like that, man. <laughs> Only the Lord could do something like that, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, the, and, and only in the Bible and in Salakia, you know, I'm, I'm it's praising the Lord's work, man, because I see it, man. I'm yeah. seeing it with my eyes, just like we seeing brothers come together on this sign here with our eyes, man. What the, right. what the, what the priest brother is reading is, uh, what the priest is reading, he's reading uh, <clears throat> of the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom coming together, man. Keep right. reading, bro. And that's his uh, sign. And a mercy as well too. Yep, because, yep. Know, the Lord gave us an opportunity to come back to him. That's right. As a nation. That's right. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and 19, saying to them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, yes. and they shall be one in mine hand. So we not no longer are we separate again. It ain't gonna be no split of the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Get uh Isaiah 11, where it says that he's gonna remove the enmity and the envying of Judah. Uh, uh, Israel shall no more envy Judah. Judah shall no more vex Israel. The Lord is bringing us together, man. Okay, we're one. We're one nation, man. We've always been one nation, man. Okay, but those things had to happen. Because it was just, it was it was the Lord's will. Before Israel ever, the Northern Kingdom ever went off into idolatry, the Lord told uh, uh, Solomon, "Yep, yeah, the Lord told Solomon that he was going to uh, rent the kingdom of, from him for his evil, his wickedness. But he wouldn't he wouldn't rent it from Solomon. He rent it from his son, um, um, Rehoboam, man. Okay, and he gave, but he kept the tribe with Rehoboam." which was the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, okay? Because at that time, again, the Levites were scattered all throughout Israel, the suburbs of all Israel, northern and the southern kingdom, okay? And then he gave the, the other 10 tribes to uh, to the north, to, uh, to Rehoboam, I mean Jeroboam, which was the uh, the king of, uh, of Israel, man. So it was already set up that way, and then obviously, the things had to play out, the idolatry, the, the sin and iniquity had to build up to a point where Yahweh Shai got so tired of it, he first exiled the northern kingdom into the Assyria, and then he exiled the southern kingdom into the Neo-Assyrian Empire, man. Because the Assyrians wanted to take over Judah at that time, but Judah was still uh, keeping the commandments, man, to the best of their ability, but they were keeping them. And so they went, until we went off into idolatry. And ultimately we were overcome by Nebuchadnezzar and the Neo-Assyrian or the Neo-Babylonians who were nothing more but the Assyrian, Neo-Assyrian Empire, Babylonian Empire. And we were taken into captivity into Babylon, to Mesopotamia. Then at, from there, we, we came out of exile. And some of our people went back into Israel with uh, Zerubbabel and Joshua. Then, uh, but you still have Israelites still in Babylon. Because yeah, Israel said, no, nah, man, we good over here. We don't want to go to, we don't want to go back to Israel, man. For whatever reason. So they they but they knew they were Israelites. They followed our customs. That's where you get the book of Acts, chapter 2, where it was about men out of every nation under heaven. So you got our people that were, um, we were scattered, man. 
But now your how about you know shy? But now your how about you know shy is bringing us back, man. So right. keep on reading, my brother. Um, Isaiah 11 and verse 13 it says, "The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the uh, ash." Start, uh, start at start at verse. I say 11 and 12, it says, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, yeah. and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. And that's what the Lord is doing. That ensign is Yahweh Shah. Right. Okay? He's that, he's that ensign for our people. Okay, so the Lord is getting, can you read that portion again? It says, Oh, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. The outcasts of Israel. The Israelites that were scattered first across the four corners of the earth, go ahead. And gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. And the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. If these people that's in the state of Israel today, if they're who they claim to be, why aren't they doing that? Right. And they act like they're going across the world, but finding, you know, lost tribes in India. You know, these, <laughs> these goddamn gooks and jaspidic looking people that claim to be the tribe of Manasseh. And they come into Israel, right? But some niggas just come in there for refuge, man. Right. They're trying to live a better life than what they're living. And in order for them to, to come back into that land, they got to follow Judaism, man. Which they're already following in those countries, according to them. They ain't the Lord's people, man. That ain't no ensign to the people to come back. These people hold up Jewish people way higher than any other than the, the, the 12 tribes, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Judah is the head tribe of Israel. Judah is uh, holds the uh, uh, the leadership mantle for the nation, but it ain't about Jewish people, man. It ain't about Judah just only. It's about the twelve tribes, man. The Lord has said he what he gonna send up an uh, inside for the outcasts of Israel and for the what? Oh, it says, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. So he's assembling the outcasts of the northern kingdom of Israel. Go ahead. And gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. And he grabbing the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth, man. All right. And how's he doing that? Through the word. Hey, hey, the internet, the Lord, he, he created a beautiful thing when he created the internet. I know it's a terrible wasteland right now. But for the fact, the matter is that the vast majority of you brothers and sisters that, that tune in, watch these videos, where did you where did you hear this word from? Where are you constantly being fed through? Through the internet, man. That's right. The scripture says our line went out, man, across the world, man, through the unicorn. Go ahead, brother. It's uh, Baruch 4 and 36. It says, O Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sent the way they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the holy one rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh Shema was shot that's right so it's through the word that you know uh, Israel and Judah are being all uh, uh, gathered together man as one and it, and it ain't just and we aren't just so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans man you got Israelites that look like all the nations of the world man because we, we were scattered amongst the whole earth man through what? Forced migration, through slavery, through oppression, through captivity, at the captivity, man. And through this word, we're being re we're being brought back together, man. And it's really the how about you know shy, man? The how shy is the word of the new side, man. Wait. Well, back in Isaiah 11 and 13, it says, The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the uh, adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim or shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. And that's what's happening because in the ancient world, Judah was vexed Ephraim, saying like, "Look, you ain't a, you ain't, you ain't a part of us. The Lord got rid of you, man. You know, you don't hold no inheritance over here." And 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 um, um, Ephraim, vet, uh, Ephraim envied Judah because they were still close to the Lord, man. They were still living in the land, and you had Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom spread amongst. The, 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 the southern kingdom as well as the northern kingdom man okay so no longer are we doing that no this is my brother i'm his brother okay we're israelites man and that's that's prophecy right there i ain't i ain't vexing this brother he he ain't envying me and you see that across the world man 
And it's spiritual that even the Lord has set it up where the brother Kahan came to the camp because now it's the northern and the southern kingdom together, man. And I don't look at him no different than myself. His language, his 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 captive language of Spanish, that still don't mean nothing to me, man. My captive language of English don't mean nothing to this man right here, bro. Hey, we we we're one people, man. And you can see that in every camp in Great Millstone, man. And even our affiliates, man. You go to LA, it's the same thing. Hey, them brothers split it up. You got brothers that speak Spanish. Hey, the vast majority of the Northern Kingdom fucking speak Spanish, man. Yeah, English is in there and other languages. Portuguese is in there. But it's really, that, that's Spanish, man. And they got, uh, you got Jake out here in America that, that, that probably never been to South America. All they speak is fucking Spanish, man. Well, guess what? We got brothers breaking the scriptures down week in and week out, day in and day out. Even this brother speak speak fluent Spanish, man. And they're praising you how about you shot. We got a brother in Colombia right now as we speak, man. Brothers in Bolivia right now as we speak. Going out there speaking in Spanish, Dominican uh, and Dominican Republic. You got the brother in, in, in Puerto Rico, man. Mexico. You got brothers all in Mexico, man. Somebody so, some with other brothers, man. And they doing what? Pray. I don't I don't understand Spanish fluently, man. But when I turn on their videos and I see that intro, hey. And we speak in the same language, man. I I hold camp, I hold the sign for that brother. I'm saying, hey, he believes in what I believe in, man. And that's the that's the spirit, that's the prophecy that is written in the Bible. This is what these nations don't want, especially the nation of Edom. Going to Amalek, man. They do not want us doing this, man. They would rather us warm with each other. They were good with the black on brown crime. They were good with the gang banging and shit. And you got Jake in the world that's still in that mindset, but not over here in his truth, not not in his truth, not in his body. You know what I'm saying? And even if a brother, even if this brother was white, so-called white, and he this man believe what I believe, it's my brother, man. Right. And you got you got Israelites that look like so-called white people doing uh, prophets, man, in Europe and in America, man. I met some, and we had a brother that was here with us at the time. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, you got Jake looking like everybody, and that's something that he saw don't want because he's all about division. And when you see that movie, Black Panther, you're gonna see that. The real enemy is Esau. Yep. It ain't Jake. That's the right. real enemy is Esau, man, even in that movie, man. That's, is, this is gonna be a Black Panther 3. And then Black Panther 3 is basically the Wakandans and the, uh, the, the Northern Kingdom, I can't forget their name. Atlantis? Yeah, they're not called the Atlanteans in that movie. They call the the the, 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 the Tekanons or something like that. Oh, okay. TikTok wins or something like that. It's an Aztec word. Versus they Esau. they gonna have to join forces with each other to fight Esau, man. Who wants to do what? Rob them of their fucking wealth, man. Yep. They want their resources, man. They don't want the, they, and then once they once they steal the resources, they got a group of both nations so that these nations can't have an abundance of vibranium and be a a, 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 a sovereign force against them, man. That's what they want. And our vibranium is just truth. That's right. They don't want us having this truth, man. They don't want us together. They don't want us praising you. I'll watch you. i name. Give me Psalms 83 and start at 1. Because they are confederate against our people, man. And here it is. Esau ain't got no power. You know what Esau's power is? Deception. That's what... Uh, you gotta watch Wakanda. They're gonna have a Wakanda series on uh, Disney Plus. But there's a movie called The Thunderbolts. They basically, you ever see Suicide Squad? Yeah. Well, Amanda Waller of the Marvel Universe is an Edomite woman named Valerie something, right? She 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 wants to she creates a, a ragtag group of anti heroes or, or or villains to do her bidding. And basically, she's setting them up to destabilize. The nation of Wakanda, so that they can get by Granny. Now, I ain't gonna get a movie up because brothers, every brother, every brother didn't see. Yeah, I got you. Every brother didn't see the Black Panther movie, so I don't want to give it up. You know what I'm saying? But um, basically, Esau is in the background, fomenting a whole bunch of wickedness because he wants their resources. The same thing happened in the Americas, man. Our vibranium back then was the gold, the precious stones, the metals. 
the crops. All those, all those things. Now keep it just keep it open like that and just sit it down. Come on, brother. That that was and, that, and that's what they wanted. And then our manpower, which is us. But these nations, they, they showing you, man. That's why I'm telling you. Even my woman said you you saw a different movie than I did. She said the way you saw that movie was different than what I saw. She saw women empowerment. She saw. Um, you know, two different nations coming together or whatever. But she was she was looking at the whole, you know, how they sent off Chadwick Bozeman into the spirit world and all that other shit. She was looking at it from that perspective. I was looking at it from a truth perspective, man. You got two nations coming together, man, and we got the best, we got the vibranium, man. Right. There's no, vibranium is not found in, this, in, a, in, a, in that Marvel universe. It's not found nowhere else on the earth. If it was, you saw would have tried to take it. And so he can create weapons of mass destruction so that he can have world domination. That's what it's all about, man. Esau trying to have world domination, but you're not going to get it, nigga. You already got it. And look where the earth is at. And if Esau could take this away from us, he would, man. And he's going to try to divide Jake. He's going to find our family members. Had them come up against us. You niggas, I'm going to tell you right now, any any of our family members that come up against us, your how about you was shot is going to kill you, nigga. Right. And may your how about you shot destroy you with a grievous death. Straight up. And he is. Right. Yeah. That that you turning us in, I don't care. We 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 gave him our lives up for your how about you was shot. So at the end of the day, we've done it before, we'll do it again. We're doing it now. But you, non-believers, you're gonna be destroyed, nigga. Cause guess what? Antiochus, he put all that wicked shit, those are wicked uh laws and statutes set us up against our power to leave our power and what did the lord do to that bitch ass nigga he killed them grievously man that funky motherfucker he died he rotted from the inside out man and then he tried to he tried to convert he tried to he tried to repent nigga hey the lord ain't accept that repentance man and you edomites you can't repent man there is no repentance for you edomites man and i'm glad that the things are happening the that movie was set up for us, brother. Yeah. Just like that movie, Slocky. Just like that movie, um, uh, what was it called? What is it called? Black Adam? Yeah. That, that movie is for us. The vast majority of people that watch that movie, you didn't get the spiritual understanding of that movie. Yeah, you saw Satanism all up in there and shit. And some of you Christians walked out. We didn't see that, man. We saw Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in that movie, man. Right. And it was spiritual that The Rock was the lead. Cause he's a he's an Israelite, okay. And he he ripped Satan in fucking half, man. That's right. He said no, and he destroyed the throne, okay. And that's what the Lord's going. That's what Yahweh Shai is coming back. This is all precursors, man, for what's about to happen, man. That dude, Namor, man. It's a lot. Of Keep reading, man. How you? <laughs> we about to go yeah. see a little after cat, man. Yeah. And we're gonna do a live show, Lord willing, right after that movie, man. Yeah. I guarantee. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spark it. I guarantee this man right here gonna watch this movie and be like, bro, hey, turn the camera on, man. And yeah, we just yeah. gonna go. I was watching the trailer. Now. I'm like, yeah, we just gonna go, bro. man. We just gonna go because once you see the, it's beautiful scene together, bro. Yeah, bro. It's fucking beautiful, man. It's it's yeah, a bro. scene in that movie. That's gonna remind you of this right here, man. It's a scene in that movie that's gonna remind you of the, the southern, I mean, the, where we standing at too. Look at the right hand in the movie. Look at the oh shit! And he was calling to his people. She was calling to her people, man. Hey. And they gonna need each other. He, go ahead, brother. Read, man. Wait, I can't <laughs> wait. We're, I'm excited. That's why we try to get kid moving. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna it's gonna be a little short today, man. We gotta go see this movie. You just gotta get up in the morning and go to work. But this it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be a part two of this kit, man. This is only part one. This is before hey, like they do them videos. They be like, oh, this is me before I go to do this. And then they, they get a video right after they do it. And you yeah, see, and hey, this is a video of Kahana Live before Black Panther 2. And he's gonna be like, this is me after Black Panther 2. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, brother Reed, man. This is uh Psalms 83 and verse 1 it says a song or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silent, O God, or hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thine enemies make it tumult, 
and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Yeah, and our enemies are these other nations, man. Starting with the nation of Edom and his top tribe, Amalek, man. That's right. They are in these people. We don't have no friends down here. That's why the Lord gave us each other, man. That's right. Each, each, each one of the tribes is a nation unto itself, man. We don't need these other fucking nations. Even if, even, which nations are set up to be our slaves and servants anyway, but even if they didn't even want to give us that, we got enough people to do everything we need to do on our own, man. We could be self-sufficient, man. That's right. another thing Esau don't want you to be, self-sufficient, man. He wants you to be dependent on him and his ideology and his philosophy. He wants you to look at him as if he's God, as if he's the most high. And he ain't shit but a fucking man. That's right. Go ahead. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Mm -hmm. They have said, come, uh, let us cut them off from being a nation yeah. that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And the name, you hear, you hear the term Israel, the state of Israel is, you know, they call themselves over there Israeli. They don't even call themselves Israelites. But they say that uh, they, they want to cut us off from being a nation. From, let, what does it say in the NLT? That says, particular verse. Psalms 83 and 4 in the NLT, it says, Come, they say, let us wipe out Israel as a nation. Mm. We will destroy the very memory of its existence. And that's what they've done. That's right. That's exactly what they have done. The customs, yep. the, the true people. The customs, the cultures, the names, that's the right. 12 tribes, the name of their God. That's Let's right. wipe all that out the earth, man. And stop them from being a nation. We're one nation. And, and what you see with Kyrie and, and uh, you know, all these, all these artists, that's what they're doing. You know, they're trying to wipe. It says, let us wipe out Israel as a nation. We will destroy the very memory of its existence. And that's what they've done. That's right. And, and now that.